That was a hard loss for the Ravens right there. All the way to overtime. Had some ups, had some downs. But overtime, I already feel I already already was feeling it. It was going down. So the Titans and the Ravens meet again. Ravens take the L, lost by six points. Held Derrick Henry in that first half for only 37 yards. He finished the game with 133 yards. That is crazy. That second half, they say he has a surge in the second half and he showed it he did his thing but and i can't really put it all on the defensive line he was still doing his thing but that last touchdown in that fourth quarter i believe that was to um aj brown they should have been tackling i seen i seen mp juice man try to tackle then I seen Marlon Humphrey, he was going for the ball. And I'm just like, dude, just tackle him. Just literally just tackle the dude. Don't. Then I seen PQ, he was going for the ball while moving backwards, getting pushed. That was just, oh, goodness. And then overtime, I already knew it wasn't going to be pretty. I was like. Critical moments, we can't depend on Giro. That was the quickest. <laughs> that was the quickest three and out. I think. I think it was less, well, maybe two minutes. It was just. You can't even tell the. You can't even tell the offense was out there really, but. The Titans did they thing. I wasn't even expecting the Ravens really to win this game. But Lamar Jackson had 17 completed, 29 attempts for 186 yards, one TD, one interception. (sighs) J.K. Ingram didn't show up. They literally took him out the game. Gus didn't show up. But J.K. Dobbins, 15 carries, 70 yards, one TD, 4.7 yards a carry. And what really made me mad was J.K. was continually going, 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 going. And next thing you know, Greg Roman takes him out. Take him out extremely while he was cooking and you saw the frustration on his face when he went out and i'm like why would you take the dude out and he's hot gus really wasn't doing anything gus had three carries six yards mark ingram two carries two yards you see they really both of them really were not doing anything surprisingly for gus but you see jk just keep feeding them keep feeding them then after he killed the momentum for that drive, Greg Roman killed the momentum for that drive. Then he started to play J.K. Moore. He had Des Bryant Moore out there. Um, Marquise, one drop pass in the first half. That was completely out heels. Perfect throw, everything. Just dropped it. Um, he had a pass breakup and then he had one if Lamar would have threw it a little bit faster instead of floating floating it he could have got that touchdown but Mark Andrews 96 yards 5 receptions he had 7 targets but this Ron had 5 with 4 catches 
And then on that one catch, the first pass that went to him, they did not show that replay. They say the it was kind of awkward how Lamar threw it because he kind of threw a cross body and Dez had to kind of stretch his his body out just to like get the fingertips of the ball. But he still caught it. But I guess it, when he's falling on the ground and hit the ground or something, I don't know. They didn't show no replay of that. And Jane Prochet finally had an appearance. One catch for 14 yards. Dev, one catch for five yards. And just that offensive play calling in general. He said, Greg Roman said he was forging. He was forging the defense. I mean the offense. And I could not tell really no difference. Other than Dez Brown was more out there. I was really hoping to see some jump balls, but Lamar just don't trust that Dez like that yet. But he trusts Hollywood, which is shorter and don't have a rep for 50-50 balls. But I don't know. That don't make sense to me. But hopefully, eventually, he will learn that. Man, this game went straight to the wire, though. I give him that. But it's just that critical play calling. Even um, Wink. Wink. He had some questionable plays with the all-out blitz, but he corrected his, like, in the next series it wasn't even the next half it was just like boom he corrected it right away but in the overtime they just started blissing away again don't know why but he just started blissing away again and to me in my opinion the four man rush that was doing pretty good it's like it was holding first half it was holding um henry pretty decent down but he just wanted to go all out blitz. It worked very rarely, but then it, it just went overboard. But good game for the Titans. Ravens still, still need that help. And I will put this loss. Man. I would put it on the defense for us that, that last play, but. I had to go offense because you had the ball first in overtime and your play calling was one of the worst. Let me see if I, they held the ball a total time in overtime, two minutes and two seconds. Two minutes and two seconds only getting two yards. So, I, I get it on Giro. Lamar had a decent game. Okay, he was throwing that interception. He just floated it. But you can tell it's, it's, it's slowly getting there for him. When, because we're going to need it for very soon. Like Thursday soon. But y'all tell me what y'all think. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Everybody stay safe. God bless.